Um, I want to do a little catch up real quick. It's been a little bit since I made our last video. And um, I did a day in the life video. So if you haven't checked that out, I will throw it up in the card above. And you can go and check that out if you want. Um, there was one other one. Uh, the homeschool kid tag. We were supposed to do a part four with Ezra and that just hasn't worked out. She just doesn't want to do it and <laughs> I've tried to like get her to do it a couple times and she just, she throws a fit, refuses to answer questions and stuff. So I'm just not going to make her do it. So there's not going to be a part four to that. So, um, yeah, the other kids is, those are up. So if you want to go check those out, I can link those in a card above too for you. But today... I am doing my 34 through 36 week update and then um, at the end I'll tell you about a few other things I have planned. So uh, 34 through 36 weeks has been getting <laughs> difficult. Um, it's just been really hard. I'm ending 36 weeks right now and it's just like probably been the roughest week I would say um just like pain in my pelvis and tailbone has been like major <laughs> and so sleeping at night has been like non-existent for me I haven't been sleeping so it's just been like hard to like want to make a video when I'm like exhausted and I'm trying to keep up with the kids is school as best as I can before the baby comes because I'm probably gonna slack a little bit when she comes <laughs> but um yes it's just been like just painful like lots of pressure and lots of pain um I haven't really had any other like symptoms I'm just just kind of like uncomfortable and like um irritated a lot uh I've been a little bit emotional and that's not really a normal thing for me so there's that but other than that I've just kind of been like in pain not sleeping and ready to have a baby <laughs> um it's been going pretty good though and so um for my midwife recommends that um I start drinking red raspberry leaf tea around 36 weeks and I started taking evening primrose oil every day, like three times a day, starting at 36 weeks. I've also been walking a little bit here and there and doing the other stuff <laughs> that is recommended just because um, since I'm planning for an all natural birth, we're just trying to like help as much as we can. Like even if I didn't do those things, I'm still going to go into labor, but you know, she just recommended that. It can help so I've been doing that and um, I've been having like TMI but I've been having like a lot of discharging mucus this week and I don't know if that's because of the oils because I always like start getting a lot more towards the end but it's just been a lot this week and I started taking those so I think it might have something to do with that but um I'm not really a fan of the tea, so I don't know if I'm going to keep drinking it. Um, I only have like a few tea bags left anyways, and I just might not buy any more. Um, just because they were given to me, and then I just don't want to buy it because I don't really like it. <laughs> but I want to be like as prepared as possible, so I might still do it. But other than that, everything has been pretty normal with me. Um baby is 36 weeks baby is the size of a papaya I think just over five pounds and like 18 or 19 inches long I don't remember and my phone's dead so <laughs> I'm not gonna try to look it up but she has actually like um, never been really a big mover or anything and then it seemed like for a while she kind of slowed down and like now all of a sudden it seems like she is moving like constantly so I don't know <laughs> um, also having Braxton Hicks contractions quite a bit and they're very like painful like 
the most painful I've ever had. So, all that. Um, nothing else really. I packed our bags, which I'm going to do another video here in a minute about. And, yeah, we're just like getting ready and just waiting to see when she comes. I usually go overdue, so I'm not like expecting her to come um, anytime soon, but it would be nice to have a baby early. Uh, I always say that like every time I have a baby, and I just never have a baby early. I did with Jasper. I had him a week early, but it was because I was induced, and I don't want to be induced, so probably just going to have a baby around 40 weeks. Um, but it's getting exciting. We still have not named her though. And the, that's starting to irritate me a little bit. Um, I have like tons of names that I like really love. But Robert is being difficult. He doesn't like anything. And I don't know what to tell him. But I told him, if you don't pick something off my list, I'm just going to name her when you're not in the room. <laughs> because he just doesn't like anything on my list. So, yeah. Um, other than that, I think everything's going pretty good. Uh, I am going to make a video for you guys. It'll be just like a short clip video that lets you guys know when I go into labor. And that'll upload right away. And so you guys will know when I go into labor. And all that stuff. Um, what else do I got for you? Oh, I have what's in my birth center bag coming and like what all I'm doing bring to that. And um I am I'm probably going to vlog a little bit of the labor and delivery and then um for sure right after I have her, I'm going to do like a video of meeting her and announcing her name. So that will all be coming very soon. Um I know I also have been doing every two week updates, kind of. I've been a little late towards this end part, but um, I am going to be doing the last few every week. So, 37 weeks, 38, 39, 40, till I have her. There will be an update that week because all my appointments are now every week anyway. So, I'll just have my appointment and then do a video for you guys to kind of update you and let you know what's going on. And that is like pretty much it. We've just been prepping, preparing. Everything is ready for her. Everything is clean for her. I don't have anything on my list to get for her besides I'd like a few more diapers and wipes. But we always have wipes because Jasper's still in diapers and wipes. And she has diapers so it's not like a big deal. But I would just like more. <laughs> um, and then... I've like made sure the kids' school is all like up to date. They have like two months of school prepared for. Anyways, I have like two months prepared for them for school. So that's all taken care of. I don't want to fall like too far behind because um, my husband is getting out of the army soon. And so we are moving home like two-ish months after she's here and so I just like want to be prepared and I don't want to fall too far behind because when we move I know that for a while we're not going to really be doing school and so I have all that prepared ready to go and that is like about it. plan is to labor as much as I can at home before I go there and my doula will meet me here at the house. And then once I get there, I should already be like 5 centimeters, 6 centimeters. And then it shouldn't be that long. And we'll spend like 4 to 6 hours at the birth center after the baby's born. And we get to come home. So, it's really exciting. I'm like super excited. I started getting a little nervous because I've never not been in a hospital setting. But like for labor and delivery, I'm not nervous. I'm never really nervous about labor and delivery at all. This is my favorite part. I'm one of those weird people who love being in labor and delivering a baby. I don't know. But just not not being in that setting, I guess, is just going to be a little different. But I'm getting really excited about it. So, yeah. All that. <laughs> 
for my 34 through 36 week update and um, I will try to be a little bit better about getting videos up for you guys. I have been like totally slacking. But let me know what kind of videos you guys want to see. Um, that will really help in the comments below if you leave me ideas of things you want to see from me or the kids or me and Rob and all that. That will help give me some ideas of what you guys want me to put up. But thanks for watching guys and be looking out for the I'm going into labor video. I'm really excited about that one. And um, yeah, I have like three more videos coming at you like this week. So thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't. And if you want to follow us on this journey and we will see you guys soon. Bye.